Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm getting a little goof, goofy here. Um, I'm your host, Darth Tuba, and today I have not one, but it's hard to see any two packages. Yes, two. And you'll notice this one is pre-opened. Why is it pre-opened? Well, because I ordered something else from Amazon and I didn't want to, you know, thinking I was opening a Star Wars toy and show my... Uh, what was it I ordered? Oh, I think I ordered sprinkles. Yes, I ordered sprinkles for my Christmas cookies. That would have been a decidedly non-Star Wars things to open. So, we have a box from Amazon. And inside that box is another box. But it's exciting because it is a Hasbro box. So, let us see what this Hasbro box is. And I think I know what it is, but it's... Uh, it can always... It's, it's kind of a guess guesstimate with that, with the... Amazon and Hasbro, okay. Ah, it looks like it's another Black Series figure. Yes, you can tell by the slight thing. I thought it was interesting that they mailed it in this and then in that, so that's pretty cool. And it is very, very good. The Artillery Storm Trooper. There he is, Artillery Storm Trooper. This was one that was available um, a while back and I missed it, so it unfortunately did not make it into the uh, thing, so it didn't make it in, you know, I was late to the party with it, and then they just re-released it. So it comes with, uh, looks like a cannon, comes with uh, whatever that thing goes on his back, little cylinder thing, and of course the standard blaster, but of course it's got its yellow pauldron and everything. I think I'm going to keep this one, no, I'm gonna open this one up. <laughs> Change my mind. Again, some people love to, I don't know, to me it's like, People are like, oh, but you put them all together, it makes a really cool mural. I'm like, you know what? I bet you any amount of money that once this is all done, Hasbro is going to sell a poster or or give it away at San Diego Comic Con or something that you can get that has the mural. And so if I really, really want it badly, I can get I can get it there. So um, I know these are basically just straight repaints. I like it's okay. Troopers are fun. And this one comes with enough. Mm -hmm. I thought this was what was on the back, but I don't think it is actually. So I'm not 100% sure where this goes. Oh, it's. Oh, I see. This is. I thought this was the thing on the back, you know, like they had on their back. It's actually a. Maybe that's what these things are. It's a. It's a missile. Or a blaster missile or whatever. So let's get all these guys out of here so I believe this was an Amazon exclusive so nice that that was able to come and go come and ordered it just it's one of those few things that the order came in the order came in pretty late and arrived pretty quick so I'm gonna use this as kind of a base here so you can see it so you have your basically your cannon like that and you can actually take your you're supposed to drop these in and it's supposed to go poof but I'm just gonna leave it in there for storage, okay? Then you've got your, uh, I like how, this is kind of nice, the back of this, if you look closely, that little design there, those those serve a different purpose. You can actually have it just be like this without the backpack, or if you wanna put the backpack in, it actually is there as a way to catch it, so it kind of, it's a little indentation that you can put in there, which I think is awesome. That's a nice little clever additive there. Of course, there you go. He's got his uh, blaster and his, you know, the standard, the standard uh, thing. I think what I'm going to do though, instead of you know, does he does the does he pass the stand test? Uh, oh, his feet feet are a little bow legged, so to speak, but he does pass the stand test. So bravo, that's good. But I think what I'm going to do is kind of position him in a genuflecting kind of way so that we have him next to his, uh, his thing. Now genuflecting is kind of tough because, you know, they're gonna wanna, they're gonna want to um, fall flat, fo you know, fall forward. So I'm trying to set this up. Whoops. Yeah, this might not have been a good idea. All right, let's see, come on. All right, let me first see if I can get his leg to He's a ballet dancer. Okay. All right. So 
That's not working. All right. So I've never done a genuflection pose here. So uh, you know what? I don't know if that's going to work. Oh. Feel like he's really no. I you know what? Change our mind. <laughs> I'm sure there's ways to do it. Um, maybe if I could put him on his knees, maybe that might work. Like like spread his yeah, that works. Okay, I'll do it like that. So he can rather than take a knee, I can have him. Ugh. Be nice in the comments, people. Oh, I just noticed too. His backpack has the other canisters. So I'm actually going to put the other canister, yeah, I'm going to actually leave it back there. Okay, so that way he's, oh, that works. Okay, that'll be, that'll work. So I can actually keep this there. So I like that better. I guess I can bring up one leg and have it be more of a genuflection, but I'm fine with this. So pretty cool artillery trooper, artillery trooper, excuse me. All right, which leaves our next one. Um... Now this one I'll, I'll be, you know, I will be 100% uh, surprised here. If it's, I'm going to broadcast this, whether or not it is, it is a Star Wars related item. But for this one, I am going to show off my, my festive shirt. Yes, this is airing a day before Thanksgiving, but let's face it. It has been, uh, we were in the holiday season pretty much since the day after Halloween. And if you watched my Instagram, you would have seen that I was un unboxing every day from the first 17 days of, Hall of um, November, a Life Day mini present from Luminous Beings, okay? Well, to me, Life Day is a season. I celebrate it just like Christmas. I don't celebrate Life Day for just one day. I celebrate it the entire month of November into December into January because we all need a little bit more celebratory time in our life. So to celebrate the holiday season as is now approaching us, we have decided I'm going to add a nutcracker to my collection of nutcrackers. And I have to include... Um, Mr. Steven Jimenez is one of our uh, wonderful listeners and commenters. If, if you watch our YouTube videos, you can see he comments quite a bit. And uh, he's telling me a lot about the holiday stuff that he's found. So I have come across a few items myself. So this is, in fact, a Wicket Star Wars Nutcracker. And it's from Kurt Adler, who has done a lot of great like Fabergé-style... Uh, you know, holiday decorations and whatnot. So let's get him out here. Whoop. Now, of course, nutcrackers are traditionally items that you can, um, hey there, buddy, you can kind of stay here and watch. I know he's an Ewok, but you know, these are essentially, for those who don't know, I'm sure people do know but uh, traditionally nutcrackers were essentially decorative um, devices that you could put walnuts in to crack but then over the last you know 40 50 years they've become more of a decorative thing not really meant to be used as actual nut cracking devices um, but they become more decorative and of course there was a whole ballet and musical uh, suite called the nutcracker suite which tells this whole story about it because they were often dressed as soldiers and, you know, kind of that type of thing. But now they've kind of crossed into pop culture and uh, there are plenty of Nutcracker ideas. This is actually, now the funny thing I think is very interesting. All right, this is an interesting thing. This is Wicked, of course, right? You can tell by the color of his thing and he's very festive. It says Ewok, but I'm pretty sure it's Wicked. He's got a little gift and everything else. But now in the back, you can see here that this is the lever that is used to operate the nutcracker. Oftentimes the nutcracker is set up in the mouth of the character so that, you know, you, you feel like it's a, it kind of goes rah, 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 like that. It's kind of, kind of scary looking actually, but Wicket um, doesn't have that. Instead, his, the, his uh, little chest here is where the nutcracker thing is. But when you do it, all it's really doing is kind of, there's a little, there's like a, 
kind of piece of fabric or something here that's blocking it. So it's it literally serves no purpose as just in that being a festive decoration, <laughs> which is okay. I don't mind that, but it's just funny that they covered it so it can't even work as a nutcracker if even if you wanted it to. So kind of weird. And a few of them do that. I think the Kurt Adler ones do that. So, but I did like this one. Uh, I'm trying. You know, this, there was a lot. There were a lot of different ones I was looking at. There was actually a Baby Yoda one, so a brand new one. I'm trying to see if this has a year on it. I don't know if it does. Let me see. Nice box, too. I enjoy this. Uh, Kurt Adler, New York, New York. No, it doesn't really give a year. All right, so I'm not exactly sure when this actual Ewok Nutcracker came out. It does have Disney on the box, so I don't think it was too long ago. But there he is. Okay. So I'll put him on the mantle with some of my other uh, festive holiday characters. So that will be really cool. So that will do it for today's episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, check out all my videos. I want to give a big, I want to give a big announcement. Um, it's beginning on no, December first. I have some. Um, I'm going to be doing kind of. I guess a lot of people call it Vlogmas and things like that. Um, I guess I can call it Darth Tuba Christmas. <laughs> which means that every day I will be uh, opening up several advent calendar uh, um, Star Wars related items and I will do that and I'm probably going to do the same thing for you know I will try to include I'll do it live on uh, Instagram each day but I don't expect anyone to watch it live because I'll do it in the morning when I get up for work before I get up for work and that's really early so unless you happen to be someone who's up and about at around uh, 5:45, or sorry, yeah, about 5:45 in the morning. Uh, that's when I do it. So hopefully you'll watch it on the rewatch on Instagram. Okay, so check me out there. I will include uh, a video of the unboxings that I do on Wednesdays. Well, Wednesday and Sunday. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. Whether you know they they may. I may include them as part of my regular videos, but I have to see what the, the, if the days work out where I can pre-record, but we'll see. So you can look forward to that. Um, there's a couple of, you know, the videos kind of bought, you know, jump back and forth between holiday related and non, but I will tell you there's a lot of holiday stuff coming. So uh, keep being on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, also check out my War of the Stars podcast. In fact, uh, at the, the day this video drops, check it out at night. War of the Stars. You can search for it live on, you know, check me out on Facebook or check it out on Facebook and Twitter. Just look for War of the Stars and you will find it. And you can, it, we are actually doing a commentary, a live commentary of the holiday special. Yes, we are watching it beginning to end. So if you want to watch along with us, you can find it on YouTube and, you know, hit play when we do and jump in on the chat and see what you tell us what you think. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to that. All right. And uh, so check me out there. Uh, Instagram and Twitter at Darth Tuba. Darth Tuba Star Wars and Box Page on Facebook. You want to support the channel, check out my Tee Public store. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the Force and the Toys and the Nutcrackers and all the holiday goodness be with you.